And I kept asking him, was he mad at me before he left? And he said, you know, he proved to me. <laughs> he definitely, definitely, and definitely proved to me that he wasn't mad. Okay. But he was like, all right, daddy out. <laughs> but yeah, he wasn't mad. Um, when he got done, he kissed my belly. After he got done, proved it to me. He wasn't mad. So, we're in a good space. You know, that's why I came out there dancing and happy. He like, I want to change your mood. <laughs> I'm like, are you sure you're not mad at me? So, like, I've been smiling ever since. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I, I definitely want him to be proud, like, you know, girl, you should not be worrying about what's going on with my lip if my man not, but, um, I want to make him proud, you know, I, I do. I really, really do. And my husband do not like me going back and forth with people on this internet. He, matter of fact, he hate it. He like, it's so low vibrational. And he like, anytime I look at a woman who's doing that, it's just disgusting to see somebody go back and forth and argue. Like, like he like let them say whatever they want to say. <laughs> I'm trying to sound like him. <laughs> let them say what they want. Only thing that matters is you having peace and serenity for our baby. <laughs> is that how he's talking, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> for real that's how he sounds <laughs> my man my man my man my man my man <laughs> But that's how it's supposed to be. Like, your husband is supposed to help you get in line. That's why we, and Israelite women, we call our husbands Lord. Not because he's the creator of all things, but when you have a good Lord, that means, and, and for, so, in the Israelite culture, Lord just means protector, provider, leader. He's our, he guide us. Like, that's what your Lord is supposed to do. He's supposed to guide you, lead you cover you that's what the lord's supposed to do cover you so my husband that's what he do he covering me he making sure that you know i'm not going out of line spiritually this is spiritual me going back and forth on on the internet ain't physically doing nothing to me but you know i'm not physically doing getting touched you get what i'm saying but it can interact with my spirit he said like the been going you know just dealing with people online can change your energy it can change your spirit. And then he even said something that was so sweet to me. He said, when you're, um, we you know when you're, Ooh, he said, and then you guys got to get used to that because what if you around your daughter, you know, and you, you arguing with them and she watching you argue with them. Like, when she hears she ain't, like, I don't want that to be, I don't want her to be listening to none of that. You know? So, he just said, and I, just for him to think about her on top of all of that, that's how I love my man. That's why I love my husband so much. That's why when he get home, 
I'm gonna make sure I show him I love him. Okay. But yeah, like, you know, like shit like that. He ain't even have to talk, he ain't even have to say that. But just for him to be thinking about it is shows me a lot, like. And he right, you know. Especially when it comes to our baby. I'm my our baby ears is being formed right now. Spine is being formed, brain is being formed. Like our baby at seven weeks, our baby earlobes is being formed. Like the canal. So, you know, eventually our baby gonna be able to hear what I'm saying. And if I, I the only thing I, my baby here is you hoes, you bitches, you lying ass, this is and this and that, and this and that, and this and that. He gonna come out cussing. And wretched. Because that's the energy that I fed him. The whole nine months. So I don't want to feed my baby that energy. I'm breaking out. You know, so. My husband is definitely right. He want me to be a role model. And he tell me, like, when we do our YouTube and stuff like that. When we get to working on our YouTube and stuff. Because we have a whole month. 28th is so far away. But he said, like, he just won't, you know. Like, if I'm not having. Like, I'm a, and I'm going to get used to that. Right now, I just be talking because I'm on Beagle. But when I change to, I need to just get used to it and just start training and get used to it. So when I do go onto YouTube, I can already be used to it and stuff like that. But he was saying, like, we want to make sure our conversations is adult. I mean, children's friendly because he definitely want our videos that we that we're going to be sharing on um, YouTube to be children friendly. When we out there doing our garden, when we doing our meditation, when we doing our survival training and stuff like that, we're going to do a lot of tra survival training, learning how to skin fish. Um I mean, you know, descale fish and stuff like that. And, you know, eventually skin animals and stuff. Like, do skin a deer so we can use the hide and we'll, how we take off the hair off the hide and stuff like that. And we want our videos to be kid friendly. So, as far as me talking about like sex and stuff like that, I'm going to start, stop doing that. But then, like, if we, um, we have a, um, he did agree to this, that it's, he loved, when I talk about sex only in a setting of teaching. So like if we do like um once a month, we might talk about like different different ways to keep the marriage um you know just happy and stuff like that. So we just keep the marriage active once a month. Um, and it don't have to always be about sex when you think like, um, oral or missionary or, you know, we're going to talk about sex without sex, without penetration. When they just breathing each other air, like sometimes me and my husband just be laying next to each other, and we, you know, and we just breathe each other air. Like I just, our, our nose be on the tip of each other's. And we just literally breathe each other air. And I feel like that's intimacy. Like, that's sex to me. Because it makes me feel some type of way down there. It makes him feel some type of way down there. So, it, get us, it gets us excited. Because we're, we're just feel, feeling each other, you know, pheromones and energy. So, there's different ways to talk about sex without always talking about... um actual penetration so um and then there's different massages like i give my husband a full body massage i rub everything from his neck his arms his torso his thighs his um legs knees his feet and then i have him turn around 
and then I'll rub the back of him that same exact way. And for him, that's intimacy. Like that is relaxing and stuff like that. So there's different ways you can please your man without have to actually penetrate. So that's what we're going to be talking about and stuff like that. And then, of course, my husband said we were going to be doing, the, you know, a little podcast. Most of our podcasts is, is going to be on the Sabbath and whatever. And, you know, we don't we don't want to debate if we only going to bring out scripture and if you don't agree with the way that we live or how we conduct our Israelite life, then you are welcome to serve your house the way that you want to. You don't have to. Um, if you like what we do, what we do and how we live, then our structure and stuff, then you can. But if you don't, you don't. We're not forcing anybody to do anything. Yes, we communicate a lot. Like, my husband, he is so understanding. So, he knows that women go through different hormones by being pregnant, by flowering, about all of that. He's still a man. He's still expected to be treated as a king in real respect, with respects. But one thing my husband do is we conversate. We have a lot of communication. Yes, submissiveness. A lot of women disregard submissiveness in this today's society. They think that being submissive is being a slave or a maid. Yes, especially so-called black women. That's why the why you think the white the black men go to the white men, white women. I mean, there was an academic. There was a mother freaking pandemic. <laughs> Remember, especially in the 90s, the early 90s, all the black men wanted white women. Shit, Jordan is with a white woman. Michael Jordan, yes, married a white woman. During those times, they was marrying white women. You know, why? Because how they talk. People sit up here and laugh at me because I um, speak with my, to my husband in a meek voice. Because I speak to him in a certain way that's meek and not barrel tone. I use a light, sweet voice. I don't want to sound aggressive. I want to sound sweet and pleasant and gentle. That's feminine, not white. It's feminine. It's no different than when you're talking to your baby. And if you in the bedroom, if you don't talk to your husband in a sweet voice, your voice don't change when you're talking to your husband, when you are trying to be sweet, or especially when you are trying to appease him, then I don't know. If you, you talk like this, I don't know. If you don't be like, hey... You know, if you don't talk sweet to your man, like, I don't know. It ain't white. It's feminine. But anyways, this is the reason why they went to the white women. Because the white women knew how to be submissive. And they told you that. They sit up there and tell you to your face, I don't want you black women. Because you are overbearing. You are rude. You are noxious. You cannot be trained. You cannot be molded. That's what training means. To be molded, you unmoldable. That's why I don't want you. That's what they said. And they went and married the white women because they was moldable. They listened. They was willing to listen. These so-called black women today don't listen. And people sit up here and laugh about me being submissive to my husband but they say I'm being a maid what my husband married me less than 30 days 
I didn't have to do two years to do, to get his car to go to the store. I didn't have to wait that long. Like, so, like, you know, I didn't have to date him for no two years or none of that. He accepted me in all my flaws and he loved me regardless of all of that. For real, for real. Yes, unconditional love. He loved me regardless of all of that. When he seen me walking up to him to the to the altar, he was crying when he first laid eyes on me. Crying. So, like, and that's what I wanted. You know, so that's what the so-called black women do. You know, they sit up here and they they say that women are, when they see women like me, they say we are slaves and we, we all this other stuff and wonder why our men is running into every nation but the so-called black women. Our men is running to another man because it takes a whole bunch of submissiveness for a man to turn on his belly and toot his ass up to another man. Demasculation and submissiveness. Ain't that the damn shame. A man has to be submissive to another man to have anal sex. And they rather, they rather go be with a man and his submissiveness before they be with a so-called black woman. It's so, it's... You, and it's sad because white gay men used to outnumber black gay men. Now, black gay men outnumber white gay men. Maybe if you learn how to be submissive and be feminine, then maybe our men will return back to us. Well, I ain't got to worry about that because I got me one. But, uh, yeah. That's a lie. Girl, you must not be in these Detroit clubs. You must not everywhere I go. I see more black gay men in every area code, in zip code, in Michigan, in traveling throughout these different states in Atlanta. I see more black than white. Yeah, they all on this app. Matter of fact, HIV is more prominent in the black neighborhoods dealing with the gay men than the white. So how is it that? How do how is that most black people, black gays, have HIV than white gays? Why? Make it make sense. Why? So if it's if 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 white gay men outnumber black black gay men, how is the HIV different? It's more in, when it comes to black men than white. Girl, bye. Talking about some because black people are more promiscuous when it started with they ass. All you see is paintings of them Roman gods with their penis out with a having orgies all throughout Rome. They started that shit. Them fucking Romans, Esau. They the one that was sucking on the baby's penises and shit, perverted ass shit. They started all it. And then they put it on us 
when we was during slavery and they called it buck breaking. We wasn't doing that shit. They introduced that, they introduced that shit to us during slavery. Yes, buck breaking. Look it up. They used to literally demasculate our black men and have sex. The slave owner men used to have sex with our black men in front of our faces to demasculate us. To demasculate them in front of us. And they called it buck breaking. So... And yes, we just, they, the black men just kept it. You know, kept that, that, that thing going. And like I said, we had a lot of, we had gay black men undercover in the 90s and the 80s and the 70s. But now we have predominantly more black men in the open with being gay than white. The black man will leave his family to be with another man over a white man leaving his family. A white man will be undercover and still stay with his wife and be gay. But a black man will leave his family to go be with a man. And why do you think, why do we, why do you think that? Because he's submissive. Why do you think they buck break our men? They buck break our men to make our men look submissive to them in front of us. It's about them being submissive. That was the whole reason. It was a mental thing to make them submit and to show us that he can make them submit in the most nastiest, demasculating way by taking the black man's anal in front of us. So, but women, they will mock mock when they see a so-called black woman still getting on her knees in 2023 to scrub the floor the morals and values to see a black woman get on her knees and scrub the floor to get her house clean is looked down upon but a woman wearing orange pink yellow hair walking around with booty shorts on with her nipples pierced is more respectable. But a woman getting on her knees to get hair off the floor with a paper towel is mocked from the older women though. Now I see if younger women be like, ew, is she really doing it? But it's the older women who will mock a young woman in these times that we live in with the booty hole brown Women that's out here, they got short daughters singing that song. These older women will mock when they see a young woman in 2023 still on her hands and knees cleaning up. They will mock a woman being legally married, folding her husband clothes, cooking her husband meals at 6 o'clock in the morning. They mock that. And this is the older women. But the younger women who's twerking at the head on the headlight at the red light. Okay. With all these Power Ranger color wigs. in sheer clothes on, they are praised. This is the this is what we have to look up to. It's ridiculous. But that's why my husband would be like, why are you going back and forth with, with these type of women? 
these type of women is mocking you for being a submissive wife. These type of women are mocking you because you're on your hands and knees cleaning the floor and getting into the corners of the wall. These type of women is mocking you because you're up at six o'clock in the morning after your husband done worked an eight hour shift, do the graveyard shift, and you want to make sure he have a, um, a great breakfast. When a lot of women that's 23, 24, 20, 26, 29 ain't doing that shit in 2023. Ain't gonna do it. They gonna tell they not doing it and they're gonna tell you they ain't gonna do it. But they mock that. They look they they talk about that as if it's derog in a derogatory way instead of praising it. You don't know women like that. Not in these times. But when you see Angelic Soul do it, you mock it. What's wrong with it? Not nothing wrong. It's, it's a beautiful thing for a woman to be submissive to her head. To her husband. But, like, that's why I said my husband is so right. He said, why are you arguing with these type of women? Why are you trying to prove something to these type of women? Like, And I'm like, babe, you are so correct. And I've been looking like a fool going back and forth with these type of women that's going to tell me that they ain't going to go and get up and do this. I'm not going to do that. I ain't going to do that. I ain't going to do this. I ain't going to do that. Why is I'm arguing with these type of women talking about me in a grown setting amongst women who I thought was married too? Probably everybody wasn't married, but I was talking to, like I kept on reentering, I was talking to married women only about oral sex about pleasing her husband but then spent the whole 30 minutes on a april 8 panel about how sucking penis how they suck penis with hogs and ice and all type of stuff had a whole panel about sucking penis but when i talk about it it's nasty so why argue with these type of women Congratulating Sue Wu because she got a video out about sucking penis. Congratulated her and said she did her biggest one to a man that she's not married to. So why do I argue with these type of women? He right. Girl, or I'm not one. I don't give a damn what I was five years ago, two years ago, one minute ago. I mean, one month ago before I met my man. When I laid down and I married my man, I only been with my man, haven't been outside my man, haven't looked at another man another way. Okay, being faithful to my man, having that another man touch my body since I laid with. My